Michelle Oda here with the Oda Group at Leader One Financial, and we have Jeremy Kane with us again from Brokers Guild. And I'm just going to ask him a few more questions. Um, something that I get a lot, Jeremy, is um, when someone's getting ready to list their home and they're trying to decide, you know, should they go get a home equity line of credit? Should they use the reserves to fix up the home before they sell it? Um, so that they can be ready to sell it at top dollar in their mind and then turn around and buy a home. Do you find in this market that that is beneficial or what have you seen is the best way to handle that? Um, it kind of depends on your situation. Obviously, there's some homes that need, you know, someone has lived in for 20 years, haven't done much updates besides, you know, this is broken, fix it, you know, and go from there. If you have just a bathroom or a kitchen or something that would completely make your home pop that kind of doesn't match the rest of the upgrades you've done, I definitely recommend looking into it at least with the cost. Um, in this market especially, um, the pretty homes sell pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, if it's staged right and priced right, mm -hmm. it, it goes. Mm -hmm. um, and if you kind of have a brand new kitchen but outdated bathrooms or you know, vice versa, it kind of leaves um, a lot of interpretation up to the appraiser who's going to ultimately decide mm -hmm. your your purchase price in the end. So the upgrades, you know, giving us as agents something to fight for in an appraisal with upgrades, even if it's a line item, here's what we paid for this, mm -hmm. it really helps and it gives, gives the appraiser something in their back pocket to, you know, kind of give you that last boost. Now, is it going to make, are you going to get dollar for dollar out of every improvement? Absolutely not. Right. Um, just kind of depends, right. you know, what, what makes it whole. So really, um, I think what, I, you know, what I'm hearing you say, and probably what it's good for um, people out there to hear is before they go spend the money and do it, they probably should talk to a, you know, a really good realtor like you who right. could tell them what they might, you're not going to be able to quote exactly, right. but what that might do for the home or mm -hmm. if you think it's good. And so it, it matters about the houses around you, the houses that have sold. I mean, if you're you're the diamond in the worst neighborhood, probably not going to get dollar for dollar. Mm -hmm. If you're, you know, bringing your home up to you know market standard in a really nice updated neighborhood, mm -hmm. you're gonna you're gonna see that that return on investment mm -hmm. much better and be able to compete with those other mm -hmm. homes maybe mm -hmm. in the market. Okay, that's good to know. Um, are there certain improvements like I think you said kitchen that you see, you know, kitchen bath or mm -hmm. my pet peeve, and I don't know how you feel about this, but I know whenever I was looking at homes, like really old cabinets, and then they put this nice granite on top. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why? Now I have to, those cabinets right. don't go, with, you know, so do you have anything that you see that's really, you know, like a... Um, I mean, obviously, thing? kitchen and bath are, are things. Um, some cheaper upgrades that you can do, maybe personally, is painting. Mm -hmm. Make sure you use the green frog tape so you, your lines look good. Um, landscaping is huge. Oh. Um, if you can really dress up your your exterior with a little bit of, mm -hmm. you know, spice, that, that really helps to get people in the home. Mm -hmm. um, that curb appeal. Right. Yeah. And just the things you can do on your own that are, you know, simple YouTube watches, mm -hmm. you know, you're not messing with plumbing or electrical or anything like right, that. Right. Definitely go a long way. Yeah. Um, yeah. New carpet, new flooring and paint are huge. Exterior paint comes up right. a lot. Right. Um, concrete in Colorado is, is a big one. Yeah. Um, a lot of agents think that if there's a cracked driveway, the foundation's like falling over, and, mm -hmm. and that's one of my biggest pet peeves as a as an agent, is you know foundation concerns when there's a crack in the sidewalk, and mm -hmm. and we all know that that's flat work and it's not anything to do with the foundation. But if you have some displaced concrete, it's going to immediately go into those people's heads, mm -hmm. the buyers' heads that you know there's issues instead of just that's getting it done. That's a pretty cheap fix too, right? You can like mud jack for a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, or usually... I mean. Just to and, alleviate that concern. Right, maybe. if it's displaced and things mm -hmm. like that. Concrete okay. is, is semi-expensive, but but it goes a long way and yeah. and not immediately once people are see the outside of the home, if they're not going to buy it, there's no reason to worry about the inside, in my gotcha, opinion. Gotcha. <laughs> you know, yeah, so. it's something I wouldn't have thought about. See, this is how to talk, <laughs> different mind. I'm thinking, like, is it pretty? And he's thinking right. concrete. So right. anyway, okay, those are great um, answers. And if you have more questions about this, please reach out to us. Um, again, Jeremy Kane with Broker Skill. He's very knowledgeable. He's been in real estate a very long time. Um, we've done several transactions together, and you always do a great job. Um, definitely looks out for the client more than, um, you know, it's about the relationship and not the transaction. So I highly recommend. Um, reach out to him. We'll have his info below. And um, if you have other questions, reach out. We'd love to help you buy your home. Michelle Odo, The Odo Group, Leader One Financial. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you.